What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanna talk about Luma AI, which is a new application that allows you to do 3D capture. This application not only does 3D capture, such as many applications available today, they actually use a new technology called Radiant Fields, which uses a neural network, and this neural network really makes a difference because when you're looking at the details of the images that you're providing and the 3D objects that get generated, is really incredible because all the different details, the reflections of the objects, the different lighting that it produces from different angles, every little thing you can see through the generated nerve. So this is really cool. And how can you start using it? Well, the application is currently available in beta. I know from them that it's going to be available for production and for more users. And very soon, they didn't tell me an ETA, but I know that they are working hard on making those changes because I am part of the Discord channel. Also today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can scan an object, how we can use this application. And then the cool part is that we can bring these assets that we're scanning in the real world and bring them into a game engine or different tools that you might need, such as you know Maya, you can use Maya, you can use Blender. Basically, it generates a, an object or you can use also a different type of format, which I'm gonna be linking in the description of this video. So to get started, the easier thing is to use an iPhone. I'm using an iPhone 13 Pro. And with the iPhone 13 Pro, you can basically just you know scan the objects and export everything. So let me show you how that works. This character right here, I thought it was cool. So I'm gonna be scanning him. So the main idea here is that you're holding your phone steady as you are walking around this figure. And as you're walking around, I am really sure that it's taking multiple pictures. So the idea of Nerf is that you're providing to the images and then these to the images get converted to a 3D object or what they call a Nerf. And that Nerf allows you to see the real representation of what you scan in a 3D type of environment. So this is the result. It took a few minutes to, to scan. I think about five minutes to get the scan completed. But you can see that by doing five minutes of work, you can now get a real mesh, which means that you don't have to, I mean, you could still have 3D modelers. I don't think 3D modelers are going anywhere, but this gives you a lot of power on your hands because no longer you need to have, you know, 3D modelers available to start with. You can basically start with prototyping different, you know, objects by using objects that you're scanning in the real life and then bringing them into your 3D environment. So just so you know, some of these meshes are definitely not optimized. These are, you know, many, many polygon counts. I didn't really count them, but these are really not optimized for, for game engines, but there are many tools that you can use today to do that. And I'm gonna be covering that in the near future. All right, guys, so before we jump into looking at how to import these assets into or either a game engine or a 3D modeling tool, I wanna to show you how the application Work. So these are some of the scans that I already took. I did multiple versions of the Demagoga and I also did the other characters in here, a Magic Leap 2, also the HoloLens. And you can look at some of the feature, you know, 3D scans that other people did in case that you want to get inspiration, such as if I wanted to look at this one, you kind of get a cinematic video. That's what they call this view. You can also look at another view where you can basically just rotate around and look at the objects from multiple views. Let me show you one of the ones that I scanned. So this one I'm pretty proud of because I think it looks the coolest. So if I were to change the view right now and, and go into this view, I can rotate it around, right? And that, that looks cool. We can look at all the details. You can see the lighting hitting the figure. You can see how accurate the, you know, the feed look and it just looks really good. If I go in here and I change it to more of a, of a mesh view, I can zoom in and look at the scan. Can also obviously rotate if I wanted to rotate as well. The other cool thing that I can also do is if I wanted to look at the mesh itself, you can basically press this other button. And as soon as you do that, you can look at the entire mesh. So this one to me looks the best. I can also go back through and look at the entire environment, which is the whole, you know, generated mesh, which is really, really cool. So we can go play and then basically it'll play that again. There's also a cinematic render, which is the one that I've been using to share in social media. You can also export an OBJ and also a GLTF 
GLTF is the one that I didn't remember what it was called at the beginning of the video. But anyways, those are two common formats that you can use to import your diffuse objects into your preferred tool. The other thing you can also do from here is if you wanted to share this and basically upload it to Drive or somewhere else, you can also do that. So on my desktop, what I want to show you as well is how you can use their web version. They just announced that there's going to be uh, capabilities to do more in their web version. I'm not going to cover that today, but just know that it is available. You can also go through here and you can also create an account, which is what they just announced today. There's also the links. These are the things that I just scanned today. You can also look at them on the web version. If I want to look at the environment completely, I can do that. This one happened to be the Magic Leap 2. So if I go in here and kind of see how cool this thing looks, even if somebody doesn't have it and you wanted to show it in AR, I think something like this will be so widely used. And then lastly, this was my first, this is what I call my hello world because it was the first scan that I ever done. Okay, so the last thing that I want to show you is how can you import these assets into your favorite tool? In my case, I'm using Unity, you can use Unreal, Maya, and so on. So when you request to send uh, OBJ or the other file type, you basically gonna get a zip file, which is gonna look like this. In this case, I downloaded the, the demo underscore one. I believe this one is the one, the demagogan that I have in here. And you can look at all the textures, right? This is what the application generated, which is honestly pretty impressive and also material and also a mesh. So what I did is I just basically brought in all of those into Unity here, and I just dropped the whole folder. And then it gave me this, and then I went into the materials and then basically just look at some of those different options. It made it look pretty cool, but everything was automatically already done for me. So if I were to hit play right now and look at this, you're gonna see that the character, I added a camera, a cinematic camera, so that it, it will look cool and we can look at it from every other angle. But you guys can see that this looks really, really good. This is. This was my third scan by using Luma AI, and I think it looks really good. You can kind of see all the different details from this character, the muscles. Also, you know, areas where I would think it's hard to even know, like in these areas, this was my second attempt. I think on the one that I did later, it, I did a better job, but I think just to start, this is, you know, really, really good. I can also show you here the same view of how it looks on the same view. If we look at it, you can see the topology in here from the legs, even these areas though, it got, you know, it got a hold of like all these areas that are really, really hard to get to. It was able to, to reconstruct this mesh, which to me is honestly mind blowing. So that's everything that I wanted to show you today. Just be sure to make sure that you subscribe to the channel, the FS Studio channel, because I'm going to be making more videos about this and tell me if you're excited about this Nerf technology as much as I am. And if you want to know more about it in the future, let me know and, and let me know in the comments what you think about Luma AI in general. And if you want to see more videos, let me know as well. Thank you very much, guys.